Hello to the third Playfab tutorial, where I'm going to show you how you can set some variables on Playfab. In the first tutorial, I went here to Automation and then to Revisions and pasted this function here. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can execute this function inside Unreal and then passing the arguments here, for example, jumps and shots in order to set these variables. Let's start. First we need to open our game instance and create here a new custom event. So this custom event should execute the function execute cloud script. And now there are actually two execute cloud script nodes from Playfab. Here the one client API and the other here when you hover it is server API. But we want to use the client API so make sure you're using this one here. Like so. And now this uh, here we need to make the request pin again. Now we can enter here the function name and this will be the same function we have in the revision on the Playfab website. So that was update player data. And if we look in here, we need here a function parameter. Um, to do that, we can actually drag from here and promote it to a new variable. I will just call it JSON object. And uh, we need to construct this JSON object before we are executing this cloud script. So we need to set it here. And from here, type construct JSON object. So now again, here on success, we can say add a new custom event, set data success, and then on fail, set data failed. So here on fail, we can print again our fail message. We can collapse this here. And on success, we can just print a string that it was successful. But now one thing is missing. So at the moment, we're just executing the cloud script, but we're not passing the arguments. And how can we do that? We need to actually we're putting the arguments inside the this variable inside this JSON object. And then when we executing the function, uh, we'll pass the arguments by this. So how we can we uh, set the arguments inside this playfab object. So for that, let's just drag it in here and type set field and here we can now type in the first argument that was jumps and then for the JSON value we can uh, go here and say construct JSON string value and that will then be the value of our argument. So I'll just connect it here with the uh, with the uh, custom event and say here for the pin jumps and then that's now for the first argument we have also another argument actually we can 
connected here and then we're only setting the jumps. But in the same function or in the same event, we could also uh, set the other argument, so uh, shots. So that's actually the same way. Just copy that. In here I will type shots. And then connect this here again with the custom event. Say here shots. Like so. And now we can connect it here. And that should be everything for executing the function and uh, setting the arguments in it. So I will just type set and like so. Now we also need to execute this function somewhere. We can do that also from our widget. So I'll open up the widget again. And here I made a second page with set and get. Now we're looking on the set button. So once the button is pressed, I'll take here again our Gaiman sense ref and then update player data on playfab. Connect it here. And now uh, we can take here a, a random integer in range, for example. Let's say here from maybe 1 to 100. And then now we connect it with the jumps. So for this tutorial, I would just set the jumps to a random value and the shots maybe just to a fixed value like 8 or so. Um, yeah, that should also be enough here. So let's test it. So here I will log in with the same account I created last tutorial. And now let's test the button. Now it says success and now we can take a look in PlayFab. So here we need to go to players and then search. And then you should find your player. So click on it and here we need to go to player data title. And here we see our jumps and shots. So shots was set to 8, the fixed value and jumps to 36, so the random value between 1 and 100. And now we can go back to uh, Unreal and set it again. So let's set it again. Now again, success, and go back to PlayFab again. So in here, we can now refresh the page, and I see a new, value, a new value here of 18. And we're also able to uh, change the value from here, so we can, for example, type 200 and then save the player data. And now, if the player logs in next time and reads the value, you can see, uh, oh, I have 200 jumps. And yeah, but that's getting the value inside Unreal, and we are doing this next tutorial. So, see you then.